that Sayyid Ahmad al-Rifai, one of the great saints, one of the great ulama, one of the great followers of the book and the sunnah of Allah, one of the people who had many miracles, Sayyid Ahmad al-Rifai, says in his book Al-Burhan al-Mu'ayyad, إِذَا رَأَيْتُمُ الرَّجُلَ يَطِيرُ فِي الْهَوَاءِ أَوْ يَمْشِي عَلَى الْمَاءِ فَلَا تُصَدِّقُوا بِهِ حَتَّى تَرَوْ وُقُوفَهُ عِنْدَ حُدُودِ اللَّهِ If you see a man flying in the air or walking on water, don't think that he is a saint until you see how he responds to the divine commands of halal and haram. That is to say, the greatest miracle is not flying in the air or walking on water. The greatest miracle that Allah may give to any of His servants is being straight, upright, righteous, avoiding sins, doing obligations, following the Sunnah of the Prophet If you want to see whether a man is saint or not, is really a friend of Allah or not, a wali or not, don't look for, for the abnormal. Look for the response to the Sharia. How they respond to the divine commands of Allah. How they respond to the sunnah of the Prophet Why did he say so? First of all, because from a Sharia point of view, we understand that these miracles, we call them miracles, may happen to unrighteous people. So, khawariq al-adat, we call them, disruption of the laws or the habitual laws, may happen to unbelievers even. And we call them these five categories. Mu'ajiza is for prophets. Karama is for awliya. Saints, friends of Allah. Ma'una is for common Muslims. Like a common Muslim may have a miracle. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sustaining him, supporting him in his uh, struggle to reach Al Jannah, to keep and maintain on the straight path. And then we have istidraj. A miracle may happen to an unrighteous person. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is just establishing a proof against him. Look, I gave you everything. It's not a uh, proof that he is right. And then ihana is insult. Miracles happen at the hand of the unbelievers. So this is why the criterion to know a wali is not through miracles that people look for, flying or walking on water. The other reason is because the formula how to walk in water was known to Muslim scientists from third, fourth century. They had a formula, a chemical formula. If you wanted to walk on water, you would have been able to do so without any boat, without any wood panel. You could have walked on water. And this is mentioned in some of the remaining manuscripts and some of the books of science in Islam. The West doesn't believe in this because they consider it more superstitious knowledge built on what has been inherited from grandfathers and forefathers not built on experiments and observations.